welcome to my channel. This is floss tube number two. Yes. Um, today I'm going to show you my progress of my three projects that I'm working on at this moment. I have plenty more uh, whips, but uh, I'm not working of any of them at the moment. And you have to excuse me if I keep on looking at myself in the viewfinder instead of in the camera. Uh, I just have to uh, get used to this. Yes, uh, whips. Um, I had one not too long ago and then I was uh, enabled by Rachel Ray to start the stitch your own adventure harry potter theme so that made two and all of a sudden i just dived into the world of cross stitching and new designs and i saw some videos and again rich ray unboxing a mill hill kit I never ever thought that I was gonna do a cross stitch with beads in it. I was like, who wants to do that? Well, yeah, I knew, I knew it. The moment I picked up that needle, I was doomed. I always end up going back to cross stitching. Anyway, so that made three kits I had to try and there those uh, Mill Hill kits seems to be very tiny and easy or I don't know if it's easy but uh, compared to my big heaven and earth designs they seemed um, kind of doable and the reason why I don't know the reason why I decided to you know try out the, the Mill Hill kit because you know it is cross stitching and, and beading. It's because all of a sudden I found out about the Mirab Mir Mirabilia patterns. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. I'm totally in love with, not with all of them, but with some of them. Yeah. So even though I have ordered kits, not knowing if I like, you know, the combination of cross stitching and beading, I've ordered the kits, but then I decide let's do the Mill Hill kits because it's the same thing, but just smaller. Yeah. So that was my third whip. So I was going to show you that. Then I actually thought I was going to show you the few finished heaven and earth designs I have done. And I realized that the first stitch along I entered with the heaven and earth it was back in the days when they had these freebie stitch alongs and it's really really unfortunate that they stopped doing those because that was like the highlight of the year when December came and they started showing just a little tiny part of the picture and people just went crazy. Everyone ran off to their website to find which design that small picture belonged to. And it was, it was a lot of fun. I never ever managed to find out which designs they were because when I went to the site, it was like almost like crashed I couldn't it was just standing and thinking I could never enter the the website when everyone else was there uh, but the first cell I entered was in 2012 
and that's like that's like seven years ago and I know I became a member of the bulletin board because then they didn't have Facebook at least a year before and I think I missed that uh, cell so around 2011 must be about the time I started heaven and earth or something like that maybe 2010 2011 anyway and I haven't made a lot of finishes since then uh, the finishes I have are small one is one of the you know which isn't a quick stitch or a mini or anything but it's the train of dreams and you well you people who know heaven and earth and maybe even know the train of dreams i think that's the most um popular design or most sold pattern i think um know that it's not as many pages as a lot of their designs but it's a regular size and it's finished i do however have <laughs> a lot of started heaven and earth some i've stitched quite a bit on and some not so much and i will show you all the whips in another floss tube if you would like to see them so yeah whips finishes and then i wanted to show you the few things i have ordered So, should we start with the finishes? I think so. That's uh, the most fun. So maybe I should have, you know, chosen to show them the last. Let's start with the Train of Dreams. Oh, I yes let me see how i and it's one of them which are framed and i'm very very proud of this one i totally love this design i made it for my daughter um, and it was my first heaven and earth i started on and I think, could it be about 20, 22 pages, which half are full and half are partials? I can't remember really. And I don't feel like pulling up the pattern. But, um, and they do this is in super sized, max colors, imagine. If they would have would have had it then, I would have done that one for sure. Uh, I stitched it on 25 count, even weave. And I gridded. I didn't grid the whole thing at once. Uh, I use thin fish line. And I grid it as I went, went, like two pages at a time or something. Very nice. Uh, I have another framed. This is the first um, cell I joined. And it's called, it's an SK. Uh, and that means uh, story keep. And uh, it's the forbidden doorway. I stitched her. Look at that. Krennic. She's like glittering like the vampires in twilight so i stitched her on black 28 even weave 28 count even weave yes will i ever do that again no never but she turned out beautiful and also you can't see that this is a black 28 count even weave. So if you're gonna stitch, 
heaven and earth. Don't go buying that expensive hand-dyed fabric unless you want some part of it to show because that's just you can't see it <clears throat> and I have them up hanging of course well not the train of dream not yet um, never mind uh, well, I, I have actually bought hand-dyed fabric for the large um, map of the Lord of the Rings. The Middle Earth large version map. And it's like, yeah, I'm never ever going to see that, you know. So maybe I would leave some part of it if I'm ever going to finish it. Yeah, which I'm never going to do. So, that was the other finish. So mind you that the Train of Dreams is the biggest finish. But there's so many to stitch. I can't, you know, not stitch all the others. And the worst thing is that if you start going through your whip stash, you're like, oh, I want to stitch that, I want to stitch that, I was... The best thing is to stick to one project and you will get a finish within a few years. Unless, you know, you have a lot of free time and you're like super fast stitching or even tense sti stitching, that goes a little bit faster. So, this year I finished the Mini Sunday Delight by Randall Spangler. Oh yeah, the Train of Dreams is Randall Spangler, of course. And I can't remember the artist who do the hidden doorway, but I will link that below. So this is my mini and you can't tell that it's a mini. And I don't have it framed. No, I don't. I should. I will someday. But it was the joy of stitching it. Look in the camera, Linda. Not in the viewfinder. Okay. <laughs> I will try. Um, oh, yeah. There's some glitter in this one as well. I don't like to stitch with that Krennic. I don't use... Yeah, I usually try to use a strand of uh, it's B5200, I think, one way, and then the thread that goes on top of the white, I use the filament, I think that's called the filament. And the fine braid, I think I use the fine braid on this pattern. And I also got, uh, I sign my finished pieces and I got that um, custom made name, uh, alphabetic and, uh, no, it's not alphabetic. It's my name written with the number so I can sign it. I ordered that from Heaven and Earth as well. And you can see I finished this in 2019. So yeah, and I stitched it. This is also 25 count and it's on Magic Guide. The one with the red lines and it's gridded 20 by 20. But now they have the 10 by 10. The even we Swagert's got the even weave 25 count easy. Not easy guide. Easy stitch? Yeah, whatever. That mini uh, was like nine pages of um, yeah, A4 pages. The pattern was nine of them. And I think the bottom three were partials. 
And here is my second cell I was joining in two, 2013. And that's a quick, quick stitch. And it's called Quick Stitch or QS Literate Dragon. Can you see his little cat looking up there? <laughs> Oh, I love, this is also Ra Randall Spangler. And if you haven't noticed, I love his designs. And I do have quite a few of them. And I'm wondering if I have any others started. I can't remember, but I have just this summer, at the beginning of the summer, received a material pack from heaven and earth with one of the dragons and it's the one called dragon in the morning oh i love it and i've decided i can't remember i think it's the mini i'm not sure but i think it's the mini is it it doesn't matter never mind if it's a regular or a mini uh, but I'm going to stitch that in 10 stitching using two threads on 25 count. When I get to it, but I have the whole kit and yeah, that's what you can see here. It's my uh, complete DMC stash, which I have bobbinated and I have in my boxes. I don't have the newest colors, the 01 to 35 or whatever numbers they, they are. I will you know, purchase them as I go, as they are needed. Um, but um, I got the whole stash, you know, four cells and stuff. And maybe it's easier just to, you know, get a pattern and a piece of fabric. And then you can, you know, like s stitch anything start any pattern you like um, and you could just buy the skeins you need which um, you know if uh, a pattern is called for five black skeins you you go get the five blacks so that's and the rest maybe you don't need more than a skein so yeah um, so you can get uh, the skeins where there is multiple and that's a bit cheaper than you know buying a full set of uh no not a full set of skeins but all the skeins needed for in the pattern or like material packs it gets kind of expensive if you're going to get that for each design you want to start but then some of them which I know that I really, 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 really want to stitch and finish, and I know it's going to take forever to do it. I have gotten a ma some material packs, but it's it's kind it's kind of it's getting too expensive. So that's actually the only finishes I have. This is an old finish, which is laying around, waiting to be framed. I call. I think it's called. The fisherman's cat. I love it. I love the design. This, this is one of the last I stitched before I crossed over to heaven and earth. Uh, because it had so much detail and back stitching and everything. I totally love this one. Um, and I pressed it and ironed it all, you know wrong so it's not straight but um so yeah that's i so i, I stitch a lot but i have a lot of i have, I have a lot of whips <laughs> and it takes time to cross stitch I'm not super fast and i don't you know since you're working i don't have that much time That was finishes. Um, so
So yeah, that's how I actually got into Heaven and Earth because I wanted more challenge in the stitching. But I don't think that the challenge in Heaven and Earth designs are the difficult stitching. The challenge is the size and maybe that you kind of need a small uh, count or high count weaves, no high count fa fabrics because they're so big. And I tried to figure out how big of a fabric I would need if I was gonna stitch a super sized heaven and earth on a 14 count. <laughs> no. No, mm -mm. nope, it's too big. Literate Dragon, the quick stitch, um, was also stitched on 25 count and that magic guide thing. I think it's, I think it's DMC who has that. I think so, I'm not sure. But um, if I can get my hands on the Swagert's easy count when it's gridded 10 by 10, that's what I want. Or coffee. So, now it's time to show you my whips, which I'm working on at this moment. And since I mentioned the Mill Hill, Mill Hill design, I will show you that. Maybe I should do like this. Oh, I guess you want to see the picture as well. Yes. This is the design. I thought it was cute. I wanted something seasonal for, you know, Christmas, winter. I usually don't do that, but this year I wanted, and I found that was very cute. So there's going to be beads in this cool thing. Cool. It's not cool. It's uh, nice. It looks so cool. It was really nice, really nice to stitch something small like this. I'm not used to it. I'm used to the big ones and I usually do a two hand stitch and I can do that on this small thing because I don't have a Lowry stand. And let's see on the pattern. I think it's It's an Ada fabric, it's six by six inches. And I thought I read, oh yeah, it's a 16 count. So it's not huge, but it's not, it's not tiny. And I'm using two strands and I'm trying railroading when laying the threads. So they, get neat and I've, I'm using, um, I watched uh, Daniela Stitcherista's video about that and I will show you in one of my videos when I'm stitching. So yeah, when I ordered uh, the kit, I ordered some other stuff and they added this little box or tin or I don't know why I didn't order it. And in the bottom there were a pattern. But then I thought, because I also watched a YouTube video on how to stitch a Mill Hill kit. So I watched that. And instead of bob bobbinating or putting 
you know, the threads on a floss card, she put them in plastic bags like we do when we diamond paint. I was like, yes, I'm going to try that. So I pulled out bags that I got from Evermoment in one of my diamond paintings and I organized it. I wrote the, the symbol and the color of the thread, wound it up and put it in the bag. And then I put it like this in the box. And here's the beads waiting for me. I thought that was really nice. But again, it's a small kit, so I would not do that on my heaven and earths. We can talk about organizing that another time. Yeah. So that's one whip. And this is actually a cover minder I ordered from Tiny Pufferfish on Etsy to, you know, support her in the diamond painting community. But they're so good to be used as needle minders as well. So, and it's kind of tiny for this tiny cross stitch. So that's what I'm using. My other whip is my Harry Potter. Uh, I just finished the train. And it's the Stitch Your Own Adventure. Stitch, uh, Stitch Along. There's a Facebook group. There are some uh, blog. Yeah, all the information you can, I will link everything down here. And it's the Stitch Your Own Adventure and it's called Letters from Hogwarts. And I have frogged and frogged and frogged and I don't know why I'm stitching it on a hand dyed fabric. Should I put it like this? A hand dyed fabric. It's a 28 count. I usually don't stitch on 28 count. It's a one over one. I'm so silly. I didn't have it in my head that you should stitch two over two because again, I've been stitching heaven and earth designs for so long. So I, I just didn't, you know, when I see 20 count, you stitch one over one. But now after, you know, watching a lot of videos on Mirabilia designs, I realized it's two over two. So I got a lot of fabric, but the design is kind of small. And I think that is one of the main reasons why I'm frogging so much. Um, it could also be because I'm used to the you know, the gridded fabric, or and if I don't have grid, gridded fabric, I usually do grid a part of it. And here I just, you know, I gridded the middle line and then counted. And I counted and I counted and I looked at the pattern and I stitched. And I've been off one stitch so many times. It's kind of frustrating. So I'm kind of happy that I'm done with the top part of the frame. Um, I'm not going to show you the pattern. I'm going to show you how this is like how it's going to look. I want to 
might show you more of that. Um, so I'm finished, you know, at the top. So now it's the six letters and all the letters envelopes in the bottom. And I, I get easily bored. So I don't think I'm going to like stitch all the letters either. I'm going to stitch one letter and, you know, to give me like a carrot or something. When I finished one outline of the letter, I can go stitch on an heaven and earth or something. Or I will stitch the letter when the first letter is released. I will stitch the first letter. When the second letter is released, I will stitch the second letter and just, just finish the bottom at the end of the year, I guess. So either way. Um, and if I would have had more experience with hand dyed fabric and like something like this, I would have chosen, excuse me, another color on the hand dyed fabric. I don't think the contrast is enough. I think uh, my wand and the owls disappear. And I know that on Facebook there are people who have changed um, the pattern and done other colors on the owls. And I, um, yes, I would have done that if I knew better, but I didn't. So. But I'm happy with it. It's okay. It's fine. It's the process I'm enjoying. Yes. What else? Um, yeah, and this is nice. I didn't buy any uh, threads for my soya. Uh, I have them here. And it's very nice to just, you know, pick the color you need. But there are, I guess, some variation DMC thread, which I've never used. And I missed that. But now I've found out that you're going to use that in the pattern. So I need to order that. And now for the big, big whip, which I'm not sure you're going to be able to see anything on camera, but I will show you. It is my heaven and earth. It's my grandmaster duck by Gordon Fitchett and I'm extreme cross country stitching this thing and I'm on the first color and it's white and what I'm meaning is that I'm stitching uh, from the largest amount of numbers to the less and usually that's black in the other uh, patterns I'm extreme cross country country stitching but on the duck it's white and it's difficult to see but I'm gonna show you let's see yes here uh, I finished uh, his head and on top of his head you can't see that because I've moved the fabric uh, there's three birds sitting and I finished those and here I've started on his um, neck and when I finished <laughs> when I finished the head I was like oh I've gotten so far I'm almost done with the white now and then I took a closer look at uh, what you call pattern pattern keeper the app and I was like, oh, oh no, <laughs> I'm not even halfway through with the white. He's holding his arms like this. Uh, as you can see on the picture, if I'm putting it in here or if you can see it somewhere else in the video. Um, he's holding like a bunch of birds in his arms and his wings are like all white. So there's a lot to go. Uh, and I think it's the largest uh, millennium frame I have. Yes. 
and the this um, what do you call that grind guard yes the grind guard for the scroll frames I just stitched that myself easy peasy but the grind guards for the Q snaps oh lord like this nope it's above my no I will buy those and I do have quite a few yeah that was my whips and now my coffee is finished I can see we're 36 minutes into the video already let's look at my uh, haul this it's so cute look at that moose oh, and look at those lambs there and the trees oh, I love it also a great stitch for this time of year I ordered it on Etsy from a woman in Russia and obviously or not obviously I guess my custom don't like packages from Russia so we had a little discussion with those with those with them yes and last time I showed you the ink circles pattern squirrels of Sumatra and I ordered uh, a hand dyed fabric for that from where did I uh, it was from ah, the same place I ordered the pattern no the fabric for my Harry Potter stuff so it was from the States don't do that it cost me like an extra twenty dollars for it to enter our country yes so i will have to find another place but this fabric oh my god look at it <gasps> oh it's called snurt and it's so, it's so nice there's like it's almost like there's a little bit of peach in it and some greens and it's so beautiful so my plan was to stitch it's 20 is it 20 i think it's 28 count yes of course it's a 28 count even weave lugana and i wanted to stitch one over one I don't know what I'm getting into. Mm, so nice. And I ordered the silk floss. It's called Gloriana. Yes. It's focusing on the wrong. It's um, the color. Ah, never mind it's called acorns it's the number 301 and it's called for yeah it says hmm, yards one thread so I sh think I should just I only need one but uh, I ordered two just in case and it's so soft and nice but it's silk I've never stitched with silk. I've only, only in my whole life stitched with DMC. But it's like a color variation. So I think it's going to look so cool. And on this fabric. Yeah. Awesome. So I got that. I just need to put everything back in order
Yes. Push that. Oh yeah. And I ordered two Mirabilia. This. It's the... Doesn't it say the number? Mm. 152. Look at that. Look at all that detail. Oh my god. I'm, and, and the cool thing is, I will not use that fabric. I'm like, I ordered something else, which I think reminds me kind of with, of the Harry Potter, uh, the Harry Potter um, fabric. And look at this, it's number 127. Percy phone or purse phone? I don't know. It's beautiful. Look at all the detail in her dress. Oh my god. Oh my god. I never thought I would, you know, stitch anything else but heaven and earth ever. But when I saw these and the mill hill, no. I'm so in love with these patterns and I ordered some of the uh, dyed silk which the patterns call for. I thought maybe oh, it would be a good idea to order those and it's the Caron collection. Water lilies, water lilies, yes. and. I ordered the, the bead packages as well. This is for the purse phone. Wow, that's a lot of beads. And what's, what was her name? Lady of Mystery, the bead package. There's a lot of, is it black? Yeah, <laughs> we love black, yes. So I ordered that as well. So I thought if I have the silk thread, I have the beads and the pattern, then all I need to, you know, uh, if I ever get to stitch it and whatever it is, yada, 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 it's DMC and fabric. And I felt like, well, I'm always going to be able to find that. But, oh my God, I, I don't want all of the Mirabilia's, but there's quite a few of them. I like Veronica, portrait of Ver Veronica. Yeah. Oh my God. And this one, Miss Christmas Eve. I've ordered the kit from, from England. So no taxes, no uh, what do you call it? Customs, nothing. And I ordered fabric for it as well. But then I wrote, I read in the email that she like had a turn, turnaround time or whatever, like three to four weeks. And I'm like, what? Christmas is already done when I get that. Oh, and maybe you're thinking, well, did you have the pattern for that? I ordered the whole kit, everything except the fabric from Hawkins Hobbies or something. Yeah. So I actually ordered another fabric from Etsy. And it said on Etsy that she had like a three day turn around time for at least the state so I'm thinking at least it should be here in two weeks so I hope so she hasn't said it send it yet but well anyway and finally I got myself a new pair of scissors because my 
um, the f Finnish scissors, Fiskars, the stainless. I love this. Worth every penny. It's starting to get a little bit mm, old. And what do you call that? It's not as sharp as it was from the beginning. Maybe because me or somebody has been cutting some paper in it. Ah, don't do that. So I thought, well, maybe these are good, but they, they're uh, hard. I don't like them. And it's no, I don't like them. So I think I will just find myself a new pair of those scissors. That was all. And I'm afraid that I need, you know, to buy something every time I do a floss tube and it's not going to happen. It's not possible. But I did have some idea like showing you my heaven and earth whips. I have, you know, a lot of heaven and earth patterns. I could go through that on the screen with you. I could uh, show you. I have a whole bag of, you know, old cross stitch kits. Um, which I have ordered before I found out about Heaven and Earth, which are kind of cute. There is cats and there is um, sceneries and stuff, I think. Yeah, we could take a look at that. Um, and I thought I would have some time stitching with you guys now, but no, it's like 47 minutes in. Holy Lord. I'm just, I'm just in a good mood. I love stitching. I, I can't wait to get started on these other stitching things. And Heaven and Earth, you know, Michelle Sayera on Heaven and Earth have shown Amy Stewart's new pattern. No, it's not a pattern, pattern yet. Her design called Once Upon a Fairy Tale. And Michelle said that it's going to be released on Thanksgiving, which is on Thursday, I think. And they're going to release it not only in regu regular size. I, I think they're going to, you know, release all the sizes and all the choices you can get. You know what I'm getting. You know what I'm getting. Yes. Anyway, um, this just, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm in a good mood. Mm, yes. Um, oh, and here's my beautiful stash of Diamond Art Club. I've never ever diamond painted any, any of them, but I own, owe a lot of them. And underneath my table, there's some more. Look into the camera, yes. Um, and I hate my hair, yes. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Or if you, you know, have anything else you want to say, except having a question, just leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit subscribe, because then I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.